Hey there everybody, this is Eric from Outer Limitless. And it's Carlos from Daily Carry Solutions. We're here in Atlanta today to cover Blade 2019. Now there is a lot of material to cover between June 7th and June 9th. These three days have a lot coming, so stay tuned. You're gonna like it. There was little more that I could do with a BK-9 that the BK-7 couldn't do just as well. This is my baby though. I, 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 I see you, yeah, I know you took it out for a good reason. <laughs> no, it's a good quality it knife, just, I mean. Just, the, to me, the balance on this, especially for chopping, it's just so good. And it, it, it chops so far above its weight plate. Mm -hmm. That's what, I mean, and it was an accident. <laughs> I mean, it was. I mean, I, I, when I created this, I had been known for, for, for uh, recurves. Yep. You know, there was shacks and all that stuff. Well, Americans back then didn't buy recurves. Right. And I thought, well, Americans buy Bowies. Uh -huh. You know, they've been yeah. taking Bowies, Bowies to battle since 1830. So, um, I thought, well, okay, I'll do a Bowie. And on paper, I wasn't very impressed with it. But you never really know until you start to cut metal. Right. And I was like, oh, you really lucked out, Becker. <laughs> you know, because it really works. And, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the blade profile works. And, uh, the edge geometry is great. The grind quality. Yeah. I mean, those are the things that even for a larger blade, when you feel that edge while right. you're processing the wood, where it's really nice for carving. And when you when you clutch up on it, you really can do a lot of stuff. And uh, you get back in here, you can make it. You can make it work. You ever uh, filled a, a Japanese forester's knife? No. All right. Well, think this blade with about that much axe handle on it. Okay. And it is it teaches you a bunch because when you get back here you can make chips fly. Yeah. And when you move up into here, the one I have, has uh, got a choil on it, which I don't really like very much. But you know, with that, there's this big honking blade, and you, you can carve toothpicks with it. Nice. So. That's, 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 that's utility fun. in itself, yeah. Yeah. People fail to realize, you know, at the end of the day, with all of the styles and the shapes and blades that are out there, the knife was man's first tool. You know, the yeah. first real tool. I feel it was. <laughs> right after rocks and sticks. Well, you, at the end of the day, the knife was the first yeah. man-made tool. I'll yes. say it like that. Yeah. All right. The sharpened point and using yes. that to go ahead and, gotcha. and create things. Yeah. That, but you're right. You're, yeah. So, so much, and 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 I hate to, I hate, I always hate to say this, but I say it a lot. You can do everything you really have to do with a broken rock. You might try to have a back. But, <laughs> but there is this thing called convenience. Comfort and fashion state. Okay. All right. So uh, you know, I'm all about ergonomics. I hate to say, if I leave the house or if I leave my bedroom and I have shoes on, I've got this is I can't remember the name model number, but it's a rucksack with the scissors because all of that little stuff is damned important in life. I keep, a, I keep a Swiss Army knife on me too, so we're there. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I want an Ecker, and it usually lives in the left front pocket, the left front cargo pocket. And this one I've, I've used <coughs> Dave McIntyre's uh, totally idea from Dave. But to, just a piece of inner tube, I've got a button light, I've got the compass. compass. A uh, fire stick and uh, a little diamond uh, sharpener okay. and a couple of tinder plates. Wow, okay. Nice. Yeah, work. I wouldn't have uh, thought of something like that. Getting like uh, like some bicycle inner tube. Yeah. And uh, um, actually heating it and having it sealed onto there. Putting the, uh, the compass down here, the little 
the LED light, your flint, your sharpener. There you go. Nice. You got your kit right there. Little comprehensive little kit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, and it, it's comfortable enough that I will sleep with it underneath my t-shirt when I'm in the woods. Yep. Not because I think I'm going to need to stab something in the middle of the night, but I'm of an age <clears throat> where I have to find a bedroll more than once a night. So, this is a nice place to have a light so I can 